welcome back to another episode. Today we are talking about stretch fabrics. Now, in the past probably two years, stretch fabrics have become more and more popular. I'm getting more and more brides asking for these fabrics. So we have a small selection here in the studio of stretch fabrics to choose from with all kind of different properties. Now guys, I need to disclose that I don't know how this video is going to turn out because Usually with fabrics, especially when they're not lace fabrics, when they're just plain fabrics, they all end up looking the same on camera. So I'm going to try my best to show you the different types of um, stretch fabrics, but it's more about looking and feeling them um, and maybe getting some samples um, and having a look for yourself. So I'm going to try my best to sort of explain the different sort of uh, varieties of stretch fabrics that I have in. So let's get to it and stop our rambling. Now, I am starting with um, a fabric called Italy Satin, and we call this Italy Satin because that's what the fabric call it. Uh, that's what the factory call it, sorry. Um, this fabric is, is quite thin, it's quite light. You can sort of see there. It can be a little bit see-through, so you've got to be careful when you're using it but it has a really good amount of stretch. Um, the reason why people like this stretch fabric is because it's really smooth. So there is no texture whatsoever and there's also no shine. Um, and what I mean by shine is like when you have a satin that shines, even though this is called a satin. Now I'm gonna show you the satin version of this. Um, sorry, the shiny version of this, so you guys can compare. But if you look right up close, super um, flat in its profile, okay? Um, don't know if you can see that. So it's really good for slinky dresses, um, beach weddings, that sort of thing. You can sort of see how light um, and airy that is. Now this one, I don't actually have a sample for, a proper sample for yet in the studio because I've only just got it in, so excuse it being in its raw form. Um, but this is called the Italy Soft Satin. And the difference here is the beautiful shine that it has. So this has a luster like normal satin. It's not as heavy as um, a standard duchess satin that we use for, for bridal gowns um, and it's not as uh, light as like a lingerie satin which we call a chamoose. Um, so it's sort of an in-between satin which is lovely. The great thing about this is that I haven't had, it's the only one that I actually have um, in this sort of luster but it also has stretch on the diagonal. Only slight stretch, okay guys? It's not full stretch, so if you're wanting something that's extremely stretchy, you might have to look at a different fabric. But if you just want a little bit of hugging around the body and you want a skirt that's sort of cut on the bias um, and hugs your body on the bias, then this would work if you're wanting this kind of luster. Um, I'm just gonna give you guys a close up so you can see. But really beautiful, um, a really typical kind of bridal fabric, um, but in a slight stretch, which is beautiful. I think the weight of this is really, really versatile. You can use it for linings, you can use it, you know, for um, outside of gowns, slim dresses. You can use it for fuller dresses with pleated skirts and things like that. So really versatile fabric because it's got that medium weight. Moving on. Oh my God, I'm already covered in threads. Okay. All right, guys, the next fabric we have here is a four-way stretch. This is probably one of my favorite stretch fabrics that I have here, and that's mainly because it stretches four ways, which means this way and this way. It also stretches on the diagonal, so it stretches all the way around, and you don't have to worry about cutting it on the bias, because sometimes skirts don't fall the way you want them to if you're cutting it on the bias. Um, so, I'm just going to pop this over my shoulder so I can show you. So here we've got stretch that way. And it's really tight weave as well and that way. Okay. Um, it's a really smooth, again, smooth pile I would say. So the fabric itself is extremely smooth. 
don't know if you can see that there's not a lot of texture or anything like that it is just completely smooth um, the weight is a similar weight to the previous satin so it does have quite a bit of um, density to it so I have recently used this fabric on a gown and it was absolutely stunning I used it in the skirt component only and we actually double lined it so that it would have a lot more weight um, to the the dress so we actually lined it in this fabric as well as on the top another four-way stretch fabric that we have is the jersey now this is extremely light okay um, and a little bit sheer more like a stocking fabric like a thick stocking now I would not use this on the outer of a gown unless it was a very unusual design um, this fabric I mainly use to line gowns and I do that because when you're using stretch on the outside if you don't use stretch underneath then the garment will have no stretch so if the client picks like a stretch lace for example and they want to stretch lace over their um, body um, you have to use a stretch lining to accompany that lace uh, think about all those gowns from Grace Loves Lace or Made With Love and they're pretty much like a fitted lace gown they're gonna have to use something stretchy underneath so that the whole thing stretches um, not just the outer side or else you know one fabric will be pulling so that is our jersey fabric all of these fabrics are in ivory by the way guys um, I use all of my uh, samples in ivory just so that you can compare now this fabric is probably one of my well, they're all one of my favorites aren't they um, the reason why I love this fabric this fabric is called wait for the name stretchy thick silky linen I mean what um, could they be more obscure so the reason why I love this fabric is because it has a little bit of stretch not a lot so it's not as much as the four-way stretch okay but it has this beautiful texture so when you look up close you'll see this texture in the fabric okay that's what really gives it its charm um, I have made a gown a full gown in this that was sort of like a mermaid style absolutely stunning the way it falls is amazing because it's got um, a beautiful weight to the fabric so when it falls it just falls beautifully on the hem so if you're really particular about how fabric looks or how your train looks or the hem looks down the bottom you will absolutely love this now this texture is not for everyone however um, it is a little bit different and for those brides that are wanting something you know they've got a really simple design in mind but they want to have some really unusual fabric but they still want to keep it ivory this is usually a wonderful option it also has a nice matte finish um, so if you're one of those girls that doesn't really want a shiny satin gown then you might want to consider something like this you can sort of see there there's a little bit of stretch not a lot of stretch similar amount of stretch to the Italy satin range so it's pretty much um, stretch on the bias so that's how this fabric is cut when we use it now guys um, that's pretty much the main fabrics the main stretch fabrics that I use in my studio when I'm designing dresses but we can source more through our factory so our factory have thousands of fabrics um, depending on your inspiration photos and what you're kind of looking for and the style of your gown and what's going to work so I hope this was insightful I hope it wasn't just a bunch of white fabrics um, it's really something that you have to sort of see uh, and hopefully those images of those gowns that I've showed you give you a bit of insight as to how these fabrics look on actual wedding dresses well guys I really hope you enjoyed this video be sure to give me a thumbs up if you made it this far um, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already I do uh, videos on wedding dresses and also fashion and vlogs etc so I hope to see you next time in my next video bye for now